Good day, Cerebrate Slayers. I'm on silent and we're on the air with more StarCraft. Executor, I bring news most dire. The Cerebrate that we thought we had killed has arisen again. The creature's battered form was reincarnated despite the considerable damage we inflicted upon it. Even now, the Cerebrate drives its brood in preparation for their next offensive. It is as I feared. It was folly to believe Tassadar could be trusted. The Conclave will not soon forget his wanton betrayal. Nevertheless, we must stand resolute, for attacking defenseless Cerebrates is not the way of true Kotos warriors. We shall overcome the entire swarm with the might and the fury that is our heritage. Executor, we shall lead our main strike force to the province of Sion, which has fallen to the Zerg. It's time the Zerg felt the wrath of the Sons of Ire. Prayer to Phoenix will remain here with a small detachment and guard Antioch from any further assaults. Hadun be with you, Executor. Bring swift death to the enemies of Ire. Well, this sounds like a bad idea. I, I don't want to... I don't think a small detachment is a pretty good idea. But hey, what do I know? I'm not adjudicator and conclave and all that crap. So destroy the Zerg colonies. Defenseless Cerebrate is one thing, but, you know, confronting colonies that are just going to respawn because the Cerebrate says so. Yeah, that'll help things so considerably. By the way, something I noticed in the last episode didn't say anything about... This is a Kadaren crystal. It looks suspiciously like one. Protoss probes can build multiple buildings at one time. Once building, once a building warp has been started, the probe can move on to a new task. Yes, we are well ahead of you on there. We've got scouts! Interesting. Changed hot key since the last episode, so now it's going to feel weird. I've got my... Uh, I'm not going to have to move my fingers now. When I'm hot keying, uh, when I'm doing uh, hot keys for a probe. Yes, yeah, so we've got scouts. We've got three scouts, three dragoon, and four. They all come out this way, right? So let's maybe dump them out this way. All right, and four zealots. Now, destroy the zerg. Well, that went quick. I'm guessing those were lings based on how fast they were dusted. Can you drop a pylon there? Also pylon switch to E, just for the sake of being quick about it. We've got, oh, we've got a lot down here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. I don't think we need a whole 13, maybe including, that's a bit, oh, built a little close to gas, uh, oh well. So that way we don't get supply block. There we go. See, there's there pops the next. Eight. Let's get an assimilator going and then get to mining. How many are we up to? We're up to nine. So we'll build some more. Actually, hang on. Let's take the opportunity to build ourselves. Put a gate there. Rally the gate there. How's this coming? Slowly but surely. Put the gate on five. Then we'll get, uh, it's 150 for a gate, right? Yeah. Try and get you guys to rally over there because every two more probes and they're all going to be on gas, so. Oh, that worked. Oh, actually, Scout! Well, let's back the Scout up a bit. Scout's got good anti-air, but I'm not sold on the rest of it. So that Scout, the Scouts just melt that Overlord. So we're going to 
drop one gate right there and we're going to put you two on gas. Is that enough for gas? We'll find out in a second. And Zelt's running fine. Now we need one more on gas. Eh. No, he's going to go straight in. So we need one, one more probe for gas. Cue up another Zealot. For yeah, I should have seen that coming. Just put a pile on there and get back on the gas. There's my fourth gas probe. Not while we're waiting. Get the second. Drop a second gate. Now we've got. Oh, we've got an air, armor, and weapons? I think I mentioned that. That you can't. That uh, air upgrades are on the cyber core. Oh, we've got advanced structures, a Stargate, and a Citadel of a Dune. I don't know what a Citadel of a Dune is. We've mentioned that I don't know what a Citadel of a Dune is in the past. So I would like a Citadel of a Dune out. So that way. We don't have to worry about artosising this. Cue up a Dragoon. So we get to find out what's on a Citadel of a Dune. Will I be able to uh, produce temps or uh, high temps? Will it just be the, you know, same old, same old? We'll find out. All right. We might also want to get another uh, another pylon out. And before you, uh, I was going to say, I was going to say, before you start. Then get back there. Don't have a Stargate down yet. I, oh, I might want to forge as well. When you're done with that, just drop a forge and then we'll move on. Citadel of a Dune. What is it? Develop leg enhancements. Faster zealot movement. Yeah, sure. What the hell? Sounds like fun. Speed lots. Try and get that, uh... All right, there we go. Couple more Dragoons out, but, uh... All right, so I want to take a scout. And just see... What there is... Across the map. Now, notice how we go on... Now, it's either straight up or straight to the left, but I'm thinking horizontal. Upgrade complete. What upgrade was completed? Oh, my range. That is still going. Ground weapons are going to get going. Now, Ben Galas. And we've got... Oh, we've got an expo over here that we can use. All right. Now, that's a thing. So we could expand. I think my problem was I don't think I had rallied this over there yet. So uh, that's percolating. That's percolating. That I don't know if I want to invest in anti-air yet. Put one more and we'll put you, send you out this direction. So I don't know if we need to get the uh, the expo, but we're gonna which upgrade completed? That was that was the speed on my zealots. Well, they make good pace. All right, the expeditionary force is going to move left across the map. Of course, I need to construct additional pylons. When don't I need to construct additional pylons? Tell I'm not a. You can tell I'm not a great Protoss because I'm very bad at building pylons, and cannons, and shield batteries. But we're gonna make a move across. Everybody's moving at a good clip, actually. Maybe I should have brought more than two zealots, but we've got the rest of the gang here. Oh, that worked itself out in the end. Alright, no, that should be fine. We'll have you guys hang out and just... 
guard here. So put you on five, and you just got downgraded to six. Sorry. Actually, if we're going to do this, put a pylon there. Put a pylon here. Just wander back this way, and we'll just actually... Nah, we don't need an assimilator yet. And we can get a couple more dragoons. We're building up a force here. So we need a few more zealots, and then we can probably have like big enough, you know, control group of each of zealots and and uh, zealots. And what are the other ones? Dragoons. And then that should be enough for our purposes of marching across the map and annihilating any zerg that get in our way. If we get that other base going, we might be able to get. Uh, we might be able to go three gates. Let's get uh, plus one armor. Zealots are on the way. Still waiting on that. Almost there. And if they're going to keep pushing in like this. We are under attack. When are we under attack for. Oh, god damn it. Well, at least they're only attacking the, uh... Oh, wait. You're a scout. Go over this way and kill things. I wouldn't have thought we would have pressure from that direction, but hey, what do I know? All right. Now put a cannon there and then go back on the gas. You done yet? All right. couple of these things going, zealots going. Maybe. Should be able to support. Third gate. Up here. Why are you taking the most serpentine path? Possible. In order to get to there. I don't know, but hey. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. Just need seven, so load that up and we're good. It's a bit of a waste for it's one hundred for a zealot, right? Yeah, be fine. Leave that one more, and there we go. And we have one control group of zealots we can move out with. That's upgrading. Oh, how much? How much is enough minerals? One twenty-five. There, I think that's the same as a stonker. One twenty-five fifty. He saw two for a goon. Thus I serve my life for iron. She house. Yeah, I forgot to forgot to rally. All right, so that's all the probes from over here. Yeah, one more to be safe. There we go, that went well. There we go. And Zelts were thinking run by and then saw... The, Zel the, the Lings were thinking run by. And then they decided that discretion was the better part of Valor. And against this force, Lord knows I wouldn't blame them. We've got eight dragoons, which might be enough. Uh, nine dragoons, which might be enough. Actually, 10, 11, and 12 are about to pop anyway, so hey, let's just sit tight. And then... Alright. Oh, I see. I saw something blue, so there's a blue zerg. 
Honor guide me. Thus I serve. Oh, or is that the Bengalus? That's the blue. Interesting. All right, let's stay to the high ground. Why? Because the mission is called the high grounds, and and, and as Obi Wan Kenobi will let you know, it's over, Anakin. I have the high ground. You guys were waiting for me to do that, weren't you? You guys were waiting for me to drop that line. Like I ever miss an opportunity to... Is there nothing here? Oh no, there's some Hydra here. That's what's happening. Take those guys down real fast. How are our upgrades going? Ah, screw it. Just get, the, get that. You can't really tell... That anything's happening on the work on the uh, not warp gates. They aren't warp gates. That's SE2. These are gateways. Of course we do. When don't we have to construct additional pylons? Well, okay. Since this doesn't get us anything, let's carry on, carry on. I got a good feeling about this. Oh. No, no, no. Keep going. Right. Ah, keep going. I got a good feeling about... You're gonna go to this corner of the map. Got a good feeling about this corner of the map. More. More minerals. Alright, let's go down the ramp. Ah, see, there they are. That's Greater Spire, though. That concerns me. I mean, it could just be because of how long we've taken. But let's just get some Zealots out. Now, just Chaos reigns. We've just A-moved them in. And now watch Chaos happen. Who is it that suggested I can... It was Dr. Thrax that suggested I... Oh my god! No, guys, guys, guys! You guys are being stupid. They're just A-moving in against any particular thing. Alright. Fortunately... Fortunately, the range on the Dragoons is doing us a lot of work. A lot of good right now. I have a good feeling about... The range on the Dragoons. Take out the, uh, that thing. Oh no, that, that was the, uh, I want six. Dragoon, Dragoon, Dragoon. I guess we need to replace those. Oh, I was going to say micro out of the way, but you can't because, well, you're, well now you're dead. Not too worried about the... I'm more... I'm not so worried about the Mutalisk. I am worried about the, uh... I am a little worried about the Sunken. Sunken's have been doing a number. Well, that was a... I won't say that was a failed experiment. Because it's not like we were having a... I have commencing. I think... Yeah, no, it's literally right outside it. Oh, hello, you. Now, what's the way... I, oh, Scout, can you find me the way down? Now, what's the most efficient way down here? Is there a ramp? There was... I'm guessing it's their life for ire. I was. Am I missing a ramp here? Or is the only way down to here from. Yeah, okay, okay, fine. Oh shit, wasn't expecting that. Actually, build me a cannon. I 
actually, dragoons, just a move across the, the map here. Yeah, just take your time. Oh, that's bad. I was expecting... Oh, where happened to my other scouts? Alright, so now the Dragoons have shown up to save the day. Well, just go across the map. Fuck it. No, go back the other way. Go back the other way. Everybody go every way. Oh no, it's no, it's not Artosis. We'll be fine. I know we're under attack, damn it. Oh crap, they're pushing in on us. We've pissed them off. Or is there more than one? No, it's spread, right? Okay. That didn't go as well as I'd hoped. May want a gateway down here. Alright. Let's, um... How do you, how does one get over to here? How about that? Now, if they start going up north, they're about to start going up north. My life for ire! Alright, that's fine. Do we have a dozen of these? Alright. All right, now we'll be fine. Now we're cooking with gas. All right. Oh, there's my other scout. It sounds like they're talking Klingon, doesn't it? Where is the... Where is the on-ramp there? There it is. Another uh, Bengalus. I, I assume that it's like... Oh, there's two goddamn... Of course there is. What do I need more of? Okay. Just get the... Okay, get the zelts warmed up then. Just waiting on the zelts to... Join the party. What battle calls? Honor guide me! What battle calls? Alright, there we go. There's a lot more stuff now than I think when I left. So we'll have to see how this goes. There we go. Push in on everything. Alright, there we go. We're going to take down that. Now. Now, take down that sunken. Now we're going to be in some business here. Alright, now push this way. You get a Dragoon, Zealot, Zealot, Zealot. Now, you guys. Oh, no, take care of... Alright, now take care of the, uh... Sunken. Now we're in business. Now we're going to... We could probably open up a... Well, I was going to say, we could add a fourth gateway. We do have a fourth gateway. I just haven't been using it. I don't think shooting an egg works very well. They've got... Oh, no. Well, eggs usually have pretty, pretty good... Uh, pretty good armor. Memory serves. I think we've talked about that in the past, though. Eh. 
Yeah, you boys take care of that, and that's the last of that, and then you're gonna take care of the spire. I'm guessing there's something over in the top. That's gonna be in the top right, then. All right, well, we gotta move out this way then, all right. All right, everybody over this way. We'll see what happens. Actually, where'd the scout go? We're gonna use the scout to scout. How's that sound? Terrifying. Oh no, that's literally the edge of the map. No more room that way for it to come at us, so. There's gotta be something up in this top corner here. Here in the pro, uh, the, was it the province or? Your warriors have engaged the enemy. All right, so again, White Zerg, which I, which I still, it's a pretty snazzy color. I know it shows up a bit more as gray on the Zerg units. You know, not that that's a good thing or, you know, it's not necessarily a good thing. It's not necessarily a bad thing. All right, you guys go over this way and tell you guys go with them. All right, just take to the sunken. All right, there goes that. Anyway, we can get plus two on the way. I didn't, I didn't just miss plus two. I'm just going to assume I have a, I have a zealot. There, now we've got a control group of zealots. I've got two groups. For, oh, I guess I can merge you guys onto one hotkey. That's fine. Poor Scourge just standing there. It's like, um, you know, we can help too. So no, that's okay, brother. Scourge are helpful, except against a ground-based army. Then they're just toast. Nice, nice units. I like Scourge. I like using Scourge. Don't get me wrong. Uh, guys are depleted, so maybe we want to... Pop one there. And just sell it, sell it, sell it. And how are you guys doing? Again, Greater Spire with no use coming from the Greater Spire does make it a bit of a waste. Wasted units, right? You gotta morph that thing into Greater Spire. So I think, as long, I think. Once we take care of these last few units, then we should be fine. There we go. That'll be with the Greater Spire. Honor guide me. Executor, Antioch is under attack by overwhelming Zerg forces. Praetor, you must hold your position for as long as possible. Fight on, brave Phoenix, and know that the gods watch over you. Entaro Adun. That, that's the mission? Oh, yeah, it is. Okay, I was wondering, it's like, oh, wait, do we have to run and rescue Phoenix now? It's like, okay, no. Although, I think I think it might be a little late for Phoenix from the sounds of it. I don't think things are going too well. I told you it wasn't a good idea. Our buddy Aldaris is just like, mm, I'm not going to admit to a strategic blunder, so uh, prayers, thoughts and prayers, thoughts and prayers, thoughts and prayers, Phoenix. It'll help. Yeah, it sounds like it's doing a world of good for him. And that is it. Two broodlings, the Balrog brood, which we thought we had taken care of in the last episode, but we had not in the Tiamat brood. The red brood. See, shows up gray here. Shows up white on the minimap, gray on the units, and gray here. So I don't know if it's supposed to be white or if it's supposed to be gray, or if the gray just shows up as white so you can see it on the minimap. But uh, anyway, yeah, that would be the show for this mission, Higher Ground, which we had to end up... You know, we... we Station ourselves on the high ground. 
and then ended up having to do all our fighting on the low ground because everything was too far away from the high ground. Now, if they tried pushing up to the high ground, we would have annihilated them because, you know, it's over once you have the high ground. <laughs> but anyway, enough Star Wars jokes. Yeah. No, I'd say that went reasonably well. We did lose quite a few units. I mean, did lose a lot. We did throw... There's the thing. is The AI loves its static defense. So... You know, I could have sent I could have sent scouts in too, but those are pricey. I, I don't know. I didn't build one. I assume scouts are pricey because they're air units. So you're probably looking at probably 200, 100 minimum investment, which I could have afforded, yes. But could I have afforded to send them in the numbers needed in order to punch a hole in all those spore colonies? Probably not. So, I don't know. That's a tough thing. The AI loves, loves, loves its static defense, and it's hard to punch through it. You gotta build a lot of units, and you gotta upgrade a lot of units, and just punch through the meat grinder as best you can. Although I had to punch through it twice, because I didn't have enough to punch through the meat grinder the first time, so... At least we were ready for the second run. I should've... If I'd known there was one up at the top right there, I would've... That was the easier one. I could've punched through that first. Oh well. But yeah, that is it for this episode of StarCraft Next Time Out. Does Phoenix manage to hold on at Antioch? I'm not betting on it, between you and me. I ain't betting on Phoenix. I love him already. I wouldn't put money on him. So how will we do next time? Well, what will we do next time is probably a probably better question. We'll find out on the next episode of StarCraft. But until then, I'm on silent. Thanks very much for joining me. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new. Share on social media. Follow on social media. The social media handle is unsilent on air. And that is for Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Tumblr. Don't forget you can check out more StarCraft in the playlist. It's on the screen in the description down below. And more videos anytime on the channel page. And until the next time, I'm on silent. Thanks very much for joining me. Like, share, subscribe, and we will see you next time.